Hey Hornets, welcome to the 17th episode of KBTV. I'm Asa Shepard. And I'm Jai Nagaraj. In this week's episode, we'll explore empowerment within our school and neighborhood. We'll see how a former Keeling student gets back to the Austin community. We'll also look at how current students prepare and test their skills in languages other than English. Finally, we'll look into the 8th grade capstone project. All this coming up next on KBTV. It's Tuesday, so it's a news day. Here's the buzz for this week. Ian McKenna, a former Keeling student, is giving aid to the homeless. With his knowledge of gardening, he tries to end hunger for all citizens in Austin. KBTV reporter Alex Edwards and videographer Ariana Mendez tell the story. Many citizens of Austin don't have access to healthy meals every day. One former Keeling student, Ian McKenna, is helping to stop students from being hungry. Very bright student, um, very involved in his community and sharing produce from his garden. Ian started working towards this goal several years ago when he realized that many students only got to eat the often unhealthy school meals. And I thought, what could I do since I'm only a kid? So I decided to garden. Ian's sister Addison McKenna, who is currently attending Keeling, also helps Ian on his quest to make sure no student goes to bed hungry. I guess you could say the end goal is to end hunger. It might take a while, but there are other people who are also working on this, so it'll be possible. Stopping world hunger is a hard task to accomplish. But with people like Ian and Addison, it seems a bit more possible. This has been Alex Edwards reporting for KBTV. I really appreciate someone who goes out of their way to help the less fortunate. Just as Ian puts a lot of work towards his goal, healing students in the Languages Other Than English program are making a strong effort to study hard for their upcoming test. KBTV reporter Caroline Crosno and videographer Alex Miranda give us more. Uh -oh. With six foreign languages at Keeling, students immerse themselves in a new culture every day. Taking part of the National Language Exam is a way to showcase these newly learned talents. To do their best, students must prepare. Well, normally we do out of practice in class, you know, hands-on. Usually it's one-on-one -on -one, uh, or as a group. Uh, they do exercises on, on electronic uh, devices like uh, Kia or Quizlet or uh, Kahoot or Socrative. Um, and they have also the interactive notebook and they have flip lessons, so they prepare in many different ways, so that way they can uh, master and be successful for a test. With the help of teachers, taking a national language exam isn't so hard. It may even be beneficial to the student's future. I think it helps the students because it um, kind of expands their horizon a little bit since it's a national exam. They get to see what other students might be studying, and it really helps them prepare them for the next level. Teachers try to encourage students to take the exam because they know how helpful it can be. Even students who have taken the test share this belief. It's like a good way to like test your knowledge of like what you learned from the course. Learning a new language can be challenging, but with the added benefits of the national language exam, it makes it rewarding. This has been Caroline Crosno reporting for KBTV. While the language other than English students power through and prepare for their exam, the 8th graders are preparing something different. All throughout the year, students have been adding to the capstone project every six weeks, with the showcase of their final product being May 2nd. KBTV reporter James Hart and videographer Alondra Aguirre take us there. Capstone is an opportunity for students to express themselves creatively. It's a passion project that lets them have fun learning something that they find interesting, and 8th grade magnet students show their inner creativity for the second year in a row. Uh, I like it because it gives students a good opportunity to um, do something that really interests them instead of just following some curriculum that uh, maybe doesn't engage them as much. Students have the chance to come up with their own ideas for their projects, which gives them an enhanced learning experience which will help them in the future. 
for each video they're going to be about two minutes long and we're going to showcase like the math classes that you can take the science classes and all the different cores and then all the different electives and fine arts students aren't the only ones who enjoy capstone the english teachers highly encourage the project because they are teaching students in an enjoyable way we learn a lot by making mistakes and a capstone project, if students are being really ambitious about it, there's a lot of opportunity to make mistakes and therefore a lot of opportunity to learn. Fun projects are important for keeping students engaged and interested. Hopefully, capstone will continue being a successful project for years to come. This has been Seamus Hart reporting for KVTV. Thanks, Seamus. And now a word from our sponsors. Oh no, I am struggling in math right now. If only I had some help in my classes. You should join tutoring. We have one-on-one -on -one sessions to help bring up your math grade. If you're interested in getting tutored, stop by Ms. Hill's room, room 201, to pick up a form today. Thanks for dropping in, Hornets. I'm Asa Shepard. And I'm Jai Nagaraj. You've been watching KBTV. Healing's number one source for news and information.